who's going to grow our food in the future if we don't have any people who know how to grow food. These emerging forms of agriculture, these high-tech forms of agriculture, can inspire young people to get involved. What urban agriculture can do is it can disperse that knowledge on how to grow food, how to distribute food, how to market food, to a wider audience of entrepreneurs, which can make our system more resilient. Americans spend about 87% of their time in buildings and 6% of their time in cars or in transportation devices. So what is the mechanism to teach the urban dweller how to change? It's buildings. It's, it's, it's how we interact with them. It's how they're built. It's how they uh, understand and communicate data. And I think right now buildings are developing removed from agriculture, and I think that's a mistake. And that's what agriculture is about, is what happens when we approach agriculture from an architectural perspective. There were no commercial vertical farms in North America of any significance or scale three and a half, four years ago. Aero Farms reached $30 million in investment in 2015. Following that, Plenty Ag has already reached $226 million in investment. I think about agriculture, I don't really imagine that everybody in the city would be farming, but there are ways that we can um, grow food nearer to the city or create experiences around food that will help consumers understand that when you're shopping and you're spending money, you're voting. And now we're looking at the city in a different way. We're looking at it from a planning perspective, from a long-term perspective to hit a specific goal. The city could come to us and say, we want to get 20% local food by 2035. We want 75% of that food to be affordable. And then we can estimate how long will it take them to get to that goal. I pivot from helping entrepreneurs make decisions about what integration makes sense into how cities can plan appropriately for these, these kind of tools in the toolbox. That's where I get very excited about, um, you know, what the right mix would be for a city. Sasaki is designing a full neighborhood in Shanghai with agriculture as the main cultural connectivity of it. It's the main producer of the jobs. It's the main connector in public spaces. It's the main scientific driver for innovation in the community. Imagine a city that valued food as much as they value energy, as much as they value Wi-Fi. What we're doing um, in 2018 uh, as a company is we're emphasizing that a city can't be smart without agriculture. Because sometimes we get so distracted by the convenience and the bright lights and the allure of technology that we're, we're losing our connection with nature even more. And I don't think we need to remove them. I think we can literally bring nature back into buildings and cities better with technology. This is the future that I want to build.